All right, guys, today we're going to be coloring the beard, but it's supposed to be temporary. We're going to be trying out the Just For Men One Day Beard and Brow Color. I've got the light brown here. We're going to see how it works. Uh, so welcome. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And I think a couple years ago at this point, I did a little series where uh, I tried uh, dyeing my beard. Um, and that was a permanent dye. I had to wait for it to grow out. I did a couple videos uh, on that. You can go back and check that out if you wish. Uh, but this is supposed to be temporary. So um, it's a one day thing. So it's kind of like you're, you're covering it up. It's kind of like beard makeup, I guess. Uh, anyway, we're going to be trying it out and see how it works. Uh, it says you can fill in patchy areas. It covers your gray, last all day until washed out. And it's dye free and hypoallergenic and it works on brows. All right, so uh, I'm going to be doing a little uh, side by side here, I think, while I try to put this on. Uh, one of the issues for at least guys with longer beards, uh, it says that you're not supposed to use with any other beard styling products. So if you're used to using uh, beard oil and balm and that kind of stuff, it may uh, it may not work. I have a feeling the the, uh, the stuff in uh, in this won't stick to your beard like you want it to. So uh, it might be a little bit of a, a different kind of thing. So I did I washed my beard. It's completely dry right now. Uh, I did use just a little bit of heat from a heated brush just so it'll be a little bit more in place. So I'm hoping it'll look a little bit better. Uh, but anyway, we're going to um, put it on and then I'm going to leave it all day, do a little side by side comparison and a follow up uh, here at the end of the day. All right. So hold on. Well, here we are with the after. I've just applied this about five minutes ago. So I just want to give you my quick thoughts here and then I'll do a, a wrap up review uh, coming up. But uh, it goes on super easy. As you can probably tell when I was painting it on, um, there's no smell to it, which is great. Um, I didn't have any trouble with the application. Uh, it seemed to dry pretty quickly. Now my beard feels awful right now. You, you feel it, it feels like... Uh, I don't know. It just feels it feels not good. So you can't run your fingers through it. You can't run your comb through it, uh, any of that stuff. So once you get it on, it's kind of going to be stuck there until you wash it out, I would imagine. But anyway, wanted to, to show you what it looks like now. And then we'll do a wrap up here at the end of the day before I wash it out and give you my final thoughts, maybe even tomorrow, just to make sure my beard doesn't have any long, uh, lasting effects and feels uh, crappy tomorrow or something like that. But anyway, stay tuned. All right, we're back here at the end of the day and the brown color has held up exceptionally well. Once it got dry, it is dry to the touch. And I even like I ate a couple meals, drunk some coffee, um, blew my nose a couple times because it's ragweed season. Didn't have any issues with anything running. Didn't see it on my fingers or any or on uh, napkins or paper towels or anything like that. So it's held up well. Um, I'm used to touching my beard and I don't want to touch my beard because it feels really dried out uh, is what it feels like. So when you put the color on and it dries, it feels like netting. Uh, you don't have any issues with flyaways because it, everything, it not exactly sticks together, but uh, it kind of makes a uniform front. And I was just putting, uh, just put it on the um, outside of my beard. So I've got some more white under there, but this pretty much stuck together. You cannot comb your beard or anything with this in it. Uh, I am going to see how this uh, washes out and just to make sure it washes out completely and see if my beard can go back to feeling like it did prior to putting this in. And then I'll do a final wrap up for you. Stay tuned. Houston, we have a problem. I have just washed my beard three times, uh, two with some light kind of daily beard washes. Uh, that didn't work at all. I uh, couldn't even run my fingers through my beard. So then I went to a pine tar soap and tried to strip out the color. And as you can see, most of the color is still there. You can start to see my white come through just a little bit there. But uh, uh, so far, it's not a just put it on, wash it out kind of uh, product, at least so far for me. So I'm going to give it a little bit more time here and uh, see what happens over the next day or so and see do a couple more washes, but also uh, just see if time will, will wear off because uh, the color supposedly did not go into my hair cuticles, right? It just kind of coated them. But whatever it is, it, it sticks to it uh, very well. So we're going to give you one last update here. I wasn't expecting to do it, but I will. So stay tuned. Crisis averted. I can officially say that my beard feels 100% back to normal. There is no color left uh, in it, and it also feels great as it normally does. Uh, I can now use all of my uh, beard oils and balms and butters and all that stuff, and it feels just like it always does, which is a great thing. Uh, that doesn't always happen when you use permanent hair dye. It kind of changes the texture of your beard a little bit. Um, anyway, 
Let me do a quick reflection here on this. This works very well as far as covering up any areas. Uh, that this, in fact, for me, it worked a lot better than the permanent hair dye. So uh, if you ever wanted to see what your uh, beard might look like uh, dyed, then you could just use this and try it out. Uh, just keep in mind that uh, it's going to take about 24 hours to get 95% uh, back to normal and then another day after that to get completely back to normal. Um, I wish they had a little bit lighter shade that was a pretty dark for me that was light brown they've got light brown medium brown dark brown brown black and black and maybe you know we got Halloween's approach maybe you want to do something black for a, a particular costume or something like that would be a neat idea since it is uh, temporary uh, the retail price on it is $15 I think I got mine for 13 something on uh, Amazon I'll put an affiliate link down in the bottom if you're interested in checking it out I also have done a couple other videos that I think you might be interested in. I've got this little beard pen, uh, fill-in pen, so that can help if you've got some uh, patchy areas or you want to make your cheek line a little bit more defined. That works well for, for doing that. That's once again, is temporary. And then, like I said, I've done a whole series of videos on whether or not you should dye your beard. And then I tried the simpler hair color. Uh, dye it is uh, a little bit less harsh with the chemicals and the ingredients in it uh, than some of the uh, traditional just for men and some of that other stuff but anyway let me know down in the comments if you have ever tried uh, dyeing your beard and if you're interested in trying out the just for men it says it works for like 30 applications i think it depends on which exactly you're doing and how much you're covering up uh, how much it'll work on that but uh, anyway let me know and as always appreciate you guys watching we'll see you soon